Hey, oh, it's OmniDog here with an overview and review of Batman Under the Red Hood Deluxe Edition. I know it's been out a while, but all of a sudden I just decided uh, I should read this book. It's come out in the past couple months, and I remember liking the story um, back when it first came out, 2003, so it's 20 years old at this point. So before I get into that, please remember shameless plug organic price books go there use two dollars off with code omnidog five percent off shipping four or more books together with code omnidog sit omnidog ship it together and you bet i use my own code it saves real money man so <laughs> this is an interesting concept because back in the 90s of course as many of you know um, or was it late 80s? Hmm. Well, maybe it was the late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, fans got to vote on whether or not Jason Todd would live or die. Everybody knows that. Everybody used the 900 numbers. It cost 75 cents to make a call. You could vote yes or no. Jason Todd. Jason Todd dies at the hands of the Joker. So they voted to kill him. And he was dead. So, what happens now uh, is, is... It's really remarkable what a good job... What a good job Judd Winnick did in writing this Batman Under the Red Hood, the deluxe edition. Very nice spine. Here's this. And what this has is not only it's got all of the Red Hood uh, story returned, but it's also got Red Hood The Lost Days, which is the full, fullest explanation of how the Red Hood came back and came to be. Uh, I mean, for comic books, it's a darn good explanation. So let's take a look at the... Oh, not just black mud flat. Ooh, now that's cool. What's the other... Oh, I was hoping it was the other half of this. Okay, there the mud flap. I mean, the <laughs> dust jacket flaps. Mud flaps. And then we've got a really cool cover. Usually DC gives us black, just plain old black covers. So this is, you know, oversized hardcover, a deluxe, but the binding still matters. And it looks glued, but it doesn't look shoddy at all. It's really quite good. So when I was reading this 20 years ago, when I was a very young man, um, I actually didn't know anything about, I mean, I just thought I was collecting Batman and detective and stuff and I, I didn't know. Um, so this was all in Batman. Okay. Uh, I, it, it was a surprise to me is what I'm trying to say, who Red Hood ended up being. So that was fun. And of course I've ruined it for you, but I think everybody kind of knows now. So uh, otherwise, sorry. Um, so here we have a nice table of contents and pages are, we got page numbers and the pages are, are nicely marked. And of course we have the really important lost days and a tale from Batman hush. Uh, uh, I really enjoy, um, uh, Judd Winnick's introduction. It's really a good introduction. So this character shows up in Batman and he is Batman's just about equal. Here we have a look at the tremendous art and it's tremendous throughout the whole thing. And so here's when Batman discovers who it is. 
and we've got a lot of Black Mask is the major villain in this. Red Hood kills. He comes back and makes no mistake, make no mistake about it, he kills. He's on the side of angels, so to speak. He want, he kills the villains, though, whereas, of course, Batman does not. And I found this to be very well written um, and exciting and compelling. It was very interesting how they how they did it, how Judd Winnick did it. I, I it, it was interesting to me, and I've been reading Batman for, you know, several years before 2003 and several years after. Well, it's 20 years now. So when I come uh, up on a story, let's see, spine loss, I'm sorry, gutter loss, not too bad, not bad at all. Um, and of course, Mr. Freeze hired by... Uh, Black Mask, because the Red Hood has been uh, disrupting Black Mask's business. And Black Mask is written very humorously, considering he is a talking skeleton with fleshy hands, but he, he is, he's a funny character for uh, such a bad guy. So back to up, oh, yay, Zatanna. That's always good. Back to what uh, Batman checks with people after he finds out who uh, Red Hood is. Finds out about how they had how they dealt with people coming back from the dead or their own experiences. Here's Oliver Queen who came back from the dead, and. Judd Winnick does a really good job of making you care about Red Hood and Batman trying to deal with him and his uh, new M.O., which is he's killing bad guys and uh, not apologizing for it. So it's it's a lot more than just fights and fights and fights. It's a it's some deep for comic book. I think it's pretty deeply philosophical on the meaning of life uh, and death, the meaning of uh, the Bat family, what motivates a character to do what they do. And I, I, I thought this was really well written. And then you get uh, lost. Let's see, what's it called exactly? The Lost Days. Okay, I was just calling it Lost. I apologize. Red Hood, The Lost Days, which explains, and I don't, well, I definitely don't want to spo spoil anything as far as the explanation for the return, but it's it's actually very well written and well reasoned on the return of our guy. And yep, it involves, it involves Talia and Raish al Ghul. And this one is Jeff Leb, Jim Lee, Scott Williams. You can't get much better of a team. So, okay, this is in Hush, right? First encounter. And here's Lost Days Prologue. And it's interesting because it puts, it pits Raish versus his daughter, Talia. In a very interesting, very interesting and compelling way. I use compelling a lot. I'm, I'll try and come up with a different word. I don't have my thesaurus here with me. Uh, how about really cool? Really cool ways of bringing him, Jason Todd, back, his training, and then what are his motivations and what does he want to do first, second, third? What's he want to do now that he's 
gotten it all back. And it's, it's, it's chronologically, this is well set up. I really enjoyed it. It was really exciting, a lot of fun. It's everything you want in a Batman comic. Uh, it's got action, it's got passion, um, revenge, vengeance, quest for justice. Um, it's just got it all. And, and it's got a lot of emotion here because, you know, it is the Bat family. So you're going to have a lot of emotion here. And here's some covers. And I think that the emotion is handled really well. It seems very real world, very real world emotions for a funny book. I, uh, Batman, depending on the writer, can, you know, go off the rails like anybody else. This is, I think Judd Winnick was deeply invested in this book and very excited to be able to tell a story the way he wanted to tell it. Uh, good on DC for letting him tell it in his manner. I think that if you're a Batman fan, you will be, if you haven't already got it, I can highly, highly recommend it. This is five out of five stars. Take it out to 10 stars, 9.5. This is just about, I don't want to say perfect, but it's one of the best Batman stories I've read in a long time. And then the pairing with The Lost Days just makes it a completely full and rich experience. So I highly recommend Batman Under the Red Hood Deluxe Edition for those of you out there looking for a great piece of Batman history and a an exciting read that has, most important things, character development, characters you care about, you learn, huh, for the first time ever, to care about Jason Todd. Yeah, I said it. Nobody liked him, but here... Everything's explained. Everything's, he gets his side, he gets to tell his side of the story. He gets to let it all out. And Batman understands. Batman doesn't approve, but Batman understands. And I, I just think this is a, a really, this is one of my books of the year. I can already tell you because I enjoyed the heck out of this. And I think if you're a Batman fan out there, if you're a fan of DC Comics in general, I think you will really get a kick out of this book. So peace and love, peace and love. Thank you to everybody out there who's watching this. I appreciate all the support and the community is great. I'll hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live or when I've dropped a video. And always comment. Feel free to leave a comment. I like getting uh, comments and I like getting messages. So peace and love, peace and love. This is Omnidog saying comics are great. It's the best hobby ever, right? Peace and love.